Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes & Associates. Today I'm happy to introduce you to All Gone Now. All Gone Now is a 1984 Hatteras 36 convertible sport fish. She's in really good shape. She's had several major uh, upgrades and refits, including um, the rebuild of the Detroit 671 diesels. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in. If you'll bear with me now, we'll uh, go around the boat, we'll take a look, and I'll tell you as much as I can about her. Thanks. This is all gone now. Again, she's a 1984 Hatteras 36 convertible sport fish in Wilmington, North Carolina. She's had some nice refits, including a new carpet below. The engines have been rebuilt. Air conditioner is done up nice. So at this price, I think she represents a, a really good um, value. Uh, please check out the full listing for all the pricing and details. You can board easily from the swim platform. And a nice tuna door in the cockpit. She's got a fully enclosed flybridge, tower, outriggers, a couple small uh, fishing chairs. Nice cooler box. Inside the cooler box, got a nice little storage for all your uh, fishing gear, lures, and whatnot. So let's go up and check out the flybridge. Climbing up on the flybridge, we'll see we've got a nice helm station here. Newer electronics have been installed. Two nice helm chairs, as well as a forward bench for guests to be seated. And plenty of storage available, sound system, it's nice aluminum hard top, An electronics box. For a 36 foot boat, I think she's um, pretty well appointed up here. And for a 1984, I think she's in really good shape. See the Garmin radar. As we get up to the uh, flybridge, we got the helm up here. Nice, comfortable belly bands. And really, a beautiful view from up here. From the cockpit, you can walk forward by the side decks. A decent width as far as sport fish go. Good handrails. I'm able to uh, walk forward with the use of one hand as I manage this camera. So you can see we've got a windlass, nice bowsprit with an anchor. Nice little tower. A 
and that brings us around the decks back to the cockpit going inside we come first to a nice spacious salon you got a uh, convertible uh, sofa nice blinds and curtains the headliner is in really nice shape. It's awfully hot out, so we'll close this door. Air conditioning works great. This boat cooled off in about five minutes when I turned the ACs on. A couple of nice chairs in the salon and brand new carpet, which has been covered in plastic to keep it that way. So when you take possession of the boat, the carpet will still be new. Got a small TV, long range single sideband, uh, ICOM 710 radio, and the ICOM uh, VHF radio, as well as some storage drawers here that pull out. couple stools at the bar so you can sit and entertain guests nice galley down design down three steps into the galley you see the cabin sole here is a uh, nice shape this is a uh, teak and holly uh, laminate floor here that looks practically new we've got a three burner stove an oven, single basin sink, plenty of storage, an apartment size refrigerator. You've got um, storage here in the steps and access to things such as an uh, additional uh, distribution panel here. Oh, window you can see into the engine room from there. We'll get a look at the engine room here a little later. Here you've got the uh, main distribution panel, your AC panel, generator panel, and your DC panel. Next to that, we've got the head. Above the head is nice. He's got um, like chart storage here for uh, us old school folks who still like to uh, work on paper charts. You see the galley is a decent size. Got an electric head. Nice single bin sink. And separate shower. find the uh, V-berth. There's a cushion there that can fit in this space to make it into a single bed. But with the insert out you can walk in as it's and you have a nice little stateroom and a couple open ports. Nice hatch for ventilation. Second air conditioner, it's nice and cool in here, and you can see a full mirror on the uh, on the door next to a nice tall hanging locker. Access to the engine room is via hatch here in the salon. The engines are beautifully painted from their rebuild. These may be the cleanest uh, Detroits I've seen in some time.
generator painted as well. Battery boxes here. Nice clean engine room. 